Good morning. Good morning. It is Shantae with Brown Sugar Talk. And Blake. And Blake. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so again, I'm going to read from this book called Little Legends. This is not in a, a child show, though, but it is for educational purposes. Because not really? everybody is there to read. Yeah, I bought this book for you. I mean, I got this book for you. This is about Arthur Ashe, 1943 to 1993. When I was younger, Arthur Ashe was just like everywhere, like on posters, everything. And um, I know he had complications, so I'm going to read about him just because it's just a good memory for me. Okay, Rick, turn down a little bit, okay? Growing up in segregated Richmond, Virginia, a black boy like Arthur was unlike, unlikely to play tennis, a historically white sport. Fortunately, his father was the caretaker of a park that had facilities for black people. Young Arthur had a racket in his hand by age six. As he got older, segre segregation and other forms of discrimination kept him from regular training. But he met Dr. Robert Walter Johnson, who ran a tennis camp in Lynchburg for black athletes, including women's champions Althea Gibson. Both Dr. Johnson and Arthur's fathers were disciplined and strict. They taught him to always keep his cool. Black athletes had to live by a high standard because their actions on the court had real-world consequences. <gasps> Every day of a black person's life. Arthur played in whites only tournaments and opened up doors for other athletes of color. In 1968, he won the first U.S. Open of the modern era, and in 1975 was the first black male to win Wimbledon. On the tennis court, Arthur was a star, but off the court, he was a naturally quiet person. I understand. With the South African Open, Arthur found his opportunity to use his voice. At the time, South Africa practiced a form of segregation known as apartheid, and the government wouldn't let him in the country to compete. Arthur spoke out. He even testified in front of Congress saying, Athletes, especially black athletes, must use every resource at their command to, to right things that are wrong. In 1973, South Africa finally let Arthur Ashe enter the country and play in the, in the tournament. Over the years, Arthur continued to use his voice to bring attention to racism around the world. In the 1980s, Arthur contracted HIV during heart surgery. He kept his diagnosis a secret until 1992, when he used it as an opportunity to speak out for the rights of HIV-positive people, including those like him with full-blown AIDS. He kept speaking out for underrepresented people until he passed away in 1993. Arthur proved that even a quiet person can be a big voice for the, world, for the change in the world. Arthur Ashe... And when he came, when when they said that he had AIDS, um, it wasn't a lot of discrimination. But I don't know. It wasn't in our house. It wasn't a lot of discrimination about it. So I don't know. And then I like to tell a story about California. So in California, they had these stories, like they had these documentaries, and they would show like how people would die of AIDS. Like it just like yeah. And I was like, what sixteen? No, they they didn't get shot and murdered. It was just like somebody might be a gay person. They were always well. It was a gay person. Like they were like it, it was like a gay disease. That's what everybody was trying to say. It wasn't. It wasn't. You know, because he said they said he got it through. Um, a gay disease. Yeah, they tried to make it a gay disease, but that's the, just bullcrap. Right, but but Arthur Ashe he got it through through surgery, and yeah. so yeah, so it's like well, it wasn't. So what you know that's a, that's a mistake. That's a huge mistake. So any, yeah. So anyway, um, that's his story. Boshti Harrison, Harrison, Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History. But yeah, um, so they used to show these uh, show documentaries on um, in California. They didn't do that here, and it was actually on a pu public broadcast station. And me and my cousin sat and watched it, and it was just like. Oh my God, it was debilitating, you know, to watch somebody waste away like that, to put that on TV. And I guess the person did want, want it to be done. And I'm glad that it was like that because I would not have had a chance to have empathy or compassion or knowledge about, you know, how somebody would actually like just lose their life. And I mean, the, the God just, it was all documented. 
you know, um, from when he was like a heavier guy to when he became so thin and just he looked like a corpse already before he had died. And so, I don't know, I think some things like that, they could be important. I don't know. It was important to me. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I just I just understand. So, anyway, today I'm going to talk about a boost, like boost for your mental health. And all of these things, y'all, I just get off Pinterest and I just add my own things to it. So, anyway, so mental health. Um, and this is from Rocket Mama's ta- mental health task list. So Monday is a motivation day. It's a focus. Set a goal, write it down, plan first steps. This helps me so much with my anxiety too. It's ridiculous because a lot of people don't realize that when they take information and don't give it to you, if they try to hide situations or if they try to uh, play games and all this, they don't realize that that's, you know, that that actually causes you to have an anxiety attack like they just because that for them is just a joke it's like oh we're just laughing about it i hate seeing pranks and stuff because i'm looking at these people and i'm like i know right now you probably have an anxiety attack like i'm looking at i'm just like i know you are probably you know going through an anxiety attack and sometimes you can see it on their faces and all this different stuff like the flustering i've been through all this stuff so it's like I kind of look and I could be just like putting my problems on them too. But still, it's like sometimes I look at it and I'm like, no, I would be having an anxiety attack. To, you know, I would start to get sweaty or I would be hot or something like that. So, yeah, a lot of people, they just think, oh, it just, <laughs> it's just a joke. I'm just talking words. And it's like, no, you actually causing somebody anxiety. Thinking that you are entitled to this position or thinking that you are entitled in a way for you to be able to speak to people like that. It's like. No, you don't do that. You know, what put you in this high position or this hiatus? I called, um, again, I'm still trying to get away from here, so I was trying to call, like, domestic violence places, right? They kept riding my call. So they routed me to this woman, and this woman was just, and this was just the other day. It was, like, what, a day ago. Yesterday, I didn't call anybody, so, yeah, a day ago. So, anyway, yeah, so they routed the call, and the lady going to get on the phone, and it was called a live. You see what I'm saying? Like they and they or well, these are supposed to be reputable reputable places, so it's called a lie. So the lady um gets on the phone and she starts um asking me what happened. And I tell her the details of the story. I always tell people the details of the story. This bitch gonna say, Well, what if they followed you? Like we can't help you because what if they fo- you are a domestic violence place. You know that they gon that they might follow us. You see what I'm saying? So it's like so many people with misinformation about the situation. You know they're going to follow us. You know they're going to try to follow us. That's the point of us going to a domestic violence shelter. That's the point of us getting away. Because usually if it's a domestic violence shelter, they don't tell anybody where you are. They don't let people know anything about you. So this lady's like, yeah, if they followed you all those places, why wouldn't they follow you here? You are a domestic violence shelter. You see what I'm saying? So why even reroute me or put me in these situations when that's not even, it's not feasible? This is a domestic violence situation. If you are actually going through my things and helping a domestic violence person, if you helping a violent person continue to abuse me after I have left him years ago, in 2005, after I left the school from 1996 to 2003, none of this shit should be following me. And you mean to tell me this is a domestic violence shelter? And you got the fucking nerve to tell me it could follow me? You see what I'm saying? The shit they do? Okay. The ignorance that I'm going through. And then you thinking that if I see you, I'm not going to reach out and pull out your fucking heart? Okay. Tuesday. Self-care. Take a bath. Meditate. Get up. Get up pedicure and you can do these any day of the week i'm just writing i'm just reading what i see but i say that too my son yes he likes his look he, we haven't been able to get a pedicure so he's like mom make me my foot water <laughs> and so he gets like lavender and epsom salt and i got like eucalyptus epsom salt eucalyptus is so good for your shower like if you guys get a chance to make bath bums anything like that just even like put it in the shower like in a cup or something so you can smell it when it's like activated i don't know if that work yet but i'll try it and tell y'all but i'm just saying i think eucalyptus is just like the shit you know like i love it it just smells so good to me 
So, um, yeah, do that. You know, meditate. Get yourself together. I say meditate every day. Don't just meditate once a day. Meditate every day if you can. If your brain can actually take a break, let the, you let your brain do that. Okay? Um, next. Wednesday. A digital detox. Take a night off from screen time. I got this from Oprah a long time ago. Don't put a TV in your bedroom. And don't put... Um, and I don't really take devices up there either. In my room, it don't have anything. Like, it don't have... it. All I got is like a... a um... A, a humidifier. What is this thing called? Anyway, the thing that like gives out scents like eucalyptus and rain water and all that different stuff. Anyway, like I put it in I don't know. What do you call these things? Anyway, here go one. Amazon. I'll put the link below. But anyway, yeah, it's like um you could actually just do it. Like it's like I I got one of these under my bed. It's a bamboo one. And I got it from um the Amazon sale. You know, I got it from that when they have a big sale in the middle of the year, whatever. Well, it's this month, about October. So, anyway, I got this one that way too. But I love these things. I do. Um, I like the scents. Like I like lavender. I like eucalyptus. I like Paradise in Park. I don't know whatever it is, but it makes the house smell good. I like coming in the house and it smells nice. It's like whoa, this is this is good stuff. <laughs> It's good. You know, it just smells so nice. So, yeah, just do that. Yeah. Can we, can we is, is that like the thing that go on a, on a Minecraft? Mm -hmm. I think he made that up. This man, okay, y'all, listen to this story. So, this man, he makes this dragon fire mod for Minecraft. He wants you to pay his Patreon $10 for you to be able to download it. Well, guess what? You can't download it on anything less than what the newest Minecraft is. So, even when we bought Minecraft, when I bought Minecraft for my son's computer, which was March, even if I would have put money into it, the mod would have already been outdated. You understand? So, the mod can only go on Minecraft 12.2. And they are already in Minecraft 13.3 or something like that. Like, it's crazy how it's all spaced out. When we bought the computer... It was already uh, 12.5, and it wouldn't have been able to go on the Minecraft. I know they say that they're doing this stuff, but I really do think they're using Flash to, like, create little videos and stuff or whatever. Like, I don't know what they're doing to make it like it is, but they need to stop doing kids like this because this stuff could really get on your parents' nerves. Like, I'm serious. Like, there's no reason for people to do that. Stop, che stop cheating and tricking children. You know, and then parents that just don't know. But it's like, there's no way for this mod to even be downloaded. And that's all the kids keep asking on the question board. Like, what? we can't download it. And he'll, and the person will actually answer, you have to have 12.2. You have, And we even, I even downloaded 12.2. So then I download the 12.2. The mod doesn't even show up. It Nothing shows up in the mod except for trees and land. That's it. None of the creatures are there. You can't, I don't even know how you even, don't you have to like mine for stuff to like find pieces to for the creatures? Or, I don't know what you have to do, but it's not showing up. So fix it. Whoever the dragon mod guy is, fix it. Update it. You said what now? Tiny turtle. Tiny turtle updated. And I want my money back too. You do not deserve my $10. Yes. His actual name is Chris. Chris. Tiny Turtle, stop juking children out of their damn money. And parents, too. That's wrong. That's a kid's allowance. You are taking a kid's allowance. That could go on a Beyblade. Or at least part of a beat of mine. What is wrong with you? Are you on crack or something? No, he's not. He could be. Because he, he won't update the mod. He doesn't have time to do anything that's of use. Fix the damn game. And stop having, you ask my, stop having my child ask me for these things. And this, guys, was a meditation moment brought to you by Shantae Shuler. So now this moves you into meditation. That was that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, don't lie. Don't lie about that. That was a mad moment. Don't lie about that. He knows me. Uh, uh, and, and mom, you're making son scared. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, scared, son. Yeah. Thursday, organize and purge. Tackle the junk drawer and purge the old emails. Uh, 
I have now started purging every day because I don't have any space. And I'm not, I can't pay for it. I couldn't pay for the space if I wanted to. And it's only two bucks a month. You know, so yeah, I purge. Just hit that click. Gmail has a word, it's like separated. You know, like into like a priority, your, what are they? Your priority, your social, your promotions, your updates, your forums. That's all Gmail. That's all Google do is help you organize. So, organize it. Get it together. You should not have a junk drawer. I don't know why people go there. You should have a tool drawer. Maybe a mail drawer. Wait, what? But organize your junk. You see? Put it in a space. And make something. Create something with it. Or throw it away. You know? Or, um, or break something. Or break something with oh, yeah, it. Oh, yeah, Mom? We like that when oh, we yeah, get upset. Mom? We we throw things on the floor. Yes? Uh, can we do a challenge? What kind of challenge? Um, no bringing clay and soda challenges. Yeah? Me and you? Yeah. So after we get done with this soda, we gonna drink water. Well, well okay, I'm not gonna drink He wants to do a challenge, but does not want to be included in a challenge. Okay, okay, okay. You see that? He okay. gonna make your life better, but fuck his up. That don't Mom. make sense to me, Blake. Mom. Mom. What? Mom. Mom. What? Okay. What I mean is, I'm not gonna drink any Kool Aid or any soda. So you gonna drink water? Maybe. Or you gonna drink? Ah, uh, okay. So if Maybe. that's the case, we'll put the challenge out there. If Blake does the challenge, we'll put the Maybe. challenge out there. Got you ain't never. He has never been drunk. Yes, I have. Don't lie. Okay, 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 guys, talk, okay, next. I hate you so much. Okay. Friday, energize. Get some fresh air. Hang with friends. On Friday, energize. Get some fresh air. Like I love taking walks out here, so that's like something that we really get into. That's something we really enjoy. Um. Blake doesn't go often, but he when he goes, we go. So, in the park out here is nice, too. So, it's like, it's nice to be out outside, especially now that it's, like, it's fall. It's, like, my favorite part of the year. It's raining. It's kind of cold, but it's nice. It's still beautiful because you start to see how the tree leaves turn and fall and all that different stuff. So, we are ready for it. And you go up there and get the, get the scarves. Okay, Saturday. Meal plan, exercise, drink herbal tea. Y'all, get some matcha. And also, if you can get some premium tea, like, for real, if you in Texas and you can still go to Central Market, get, you know, go get the tea in the bulk. That stuff was so good. Like, my favorite one, I think, was, like, a peach something. It's, like, because they infuse the teas a little bit more. And so, it's, like, you get, the more, you get, like, a little bit more flavor than if you do something when you put it in a little sachet or whatever. I just love that because I could get tea for, like, you know, sometimes 90 cents, 89 cents, 85 cents, you know, like just get a little because it's just me, especially if you're a single person. Really utilize bulk stores because you can get as little or as much as you need. You know, um, even if you're a family, you can get a, as little as much as you need and it'll be for a cheaper price. So like eat with, when buying from the bulk things, I guess that's something that maybe they don't, they probably don't have it right now because of COVID, but I mean, seriously, like, bulk is, like, the shit for me. You know, it's it's because, you know, I just get to, um, because it's, like, it saves me money. Even now, I still have to, I still have to actually buy, like, I'm a single person. Because there's some things we just don't, we don't eat, you know, uh, we don't eat it right away. And sometimes it goes bad or it's been there for a while. We don't know that it's so, that it's stale. (laughs) We know stale, Okay. And sometimes we actually like stale, you know, but it's like, yeah, sometimes we have things so long, it's like, oh my God, it's just stale. So now I try to like consume as much as I can and then, you know, go to the grocery store or whatever of that product that we use. But bulk is like awesome, like especially if it's something that y'all eat like every day, you know, like seaweed. I have a seaweed eater here. He eats seaweed like it's grass, like he's a cow just eating the grass. And um, then he likes that. Now he likes those 
like coconut water. So it's like, yeah, some things I really do have to buy in bulk because he eat them a lot. Like he eat it all day. But then there's other things I buy and I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could share this with somebody. Um, So then, you know, it helps when it's like open bulk and then I can get things and I don't have to pay full price for the product. Like rolled, like, uh, let me think, uh, oats. Why, what is those things? Um, steel oats, things like that. Cause we don't eat, we eat oatmeal, but it'll be like, we used to consume, we used to eat oatmeal like every fucking day. But now it's like, we just eat it every once in a while. So it'd be nice to have like steel oats, some good ass oats and just be able to pay a, a smaller price for them, a cheaper price. I know they already cheap, but I want them cheaper. So, anyway, yeah, just make sure you do that. Make sure you plan your meals, plan out your menus, all those different things. Think about what the weather is bringing. I usually fast around this time. So, November, December is my time where I don't drink a lot. I mean, where I don't eat a lot, I drink a lot. And that's why next month, I'm just all about the milks, like wild up milk, um, almond milk, hemp milk. Um, I'm just all about all these different things. Um, just because, like I said, it's, it's, um, I just don't, I don't eat a lot at this point. And I don't know who else could do that. I think sometimes you have to actually do your, your body's fasting or whatever. Like, I just don't, I don't know. I'm just not hungry. So, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Um, Sunday is gratitude day. Use a journal to document highs, eight positives from the week. Um, I like that. I love, what was the best part of your day? As an artist, I love that. Let me tell y'all, because we like stuff. Like, it'll be like, oh, because I, I found this pebble or whatever. Or my best part yesterday was, I, fi- I keep finding these big screws. Um, and actually, I found nails. And just because I can't get to the hardware store, and I like finding things outside, like I do, like out here is like so much like metal and stuff. Like I could totally do a whole art project, but I found another one too. I have another one, so I have two of these now. One day I found like a whole, uh, like out on the parking lot, it was just like a bunch of nails, and I actually need nails. I mean, they rusted and stuff. I like that shit. I really do. And I got this stuff that will actually take the rust off. So, um, this chemical is, I forgot what it's called. One day I'll talk to you about it. But it'll actually take the rust off the nail. So, I completely just love finding stuff like this. Like, I don't know why, but it's like, I don't know when I'm going to need it. One day I found, like, a bunch of hooks. And I put them in the garden. Like, I made this little basket thing in the garden. But it's not working for anything. But still, it's like, I like to... Take little things like that and make stuff with it. If I come up with an idea, like I could totally wrap wire around this. And maybe make like a necklace or put like flowers or something on her to help it be a necklace. That would be cute. So anyway, yeah, like it's like I find stuff like this and it's like, yeah. I hit the jackpot because it really this is probably like 69 at the store, y'all. At the hardware store, I'm not joking. I don't know. It's like, how much is this stuff? Huh? Like what? No. Uh, I love you so much, little boy. I you, so much. you hear that? I'm his mom. Yeah. That's how he talked to his mom. That's that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Thing, you know I mean? <laughs> that's how we talk to each other. So anyway, yeah, that's what he's saying. So anyway, yes, yeah, that's your Family boo. So, family um, again, this is from. Rocket Mama's Mental Health Task List, Seven Simple Practices, So Motivation, Self-Care, Organize and Purge, Digital Detox, Energize, Health, and Gratitude. And I would say, yes, all that comes as an encumberment of who you are and what you do. And please don't forget, Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History by Vashti Harrison. And I'm pretty sure every story is going to talk about how they fought to end racism. 1748 I and mean, this 2020 and they are still fighting for the same things and that needs to seep into a lot of people's spirits 
Um, it's, you can make custard different ways. The way that East St. Louis people make custard is more refined. Because yesterday I saw how, um, for creme brulee, creme brulee is a custard. And when I make banana pudding, that's a custard. But in East St. Louis, we make it in a different way. Our, our that's recipe correct. is more I complex. Hate, I hate when that happens. <laughs> but yeah, creme brulee, I looked at it yesterday. You got to have like a cast of sugar. Uh, milk and you have um and you can use um what's the thickener cornstarch and so you can mix that all up and then you put the cast of sugar on top and you blow torch it so yes next month that's on the menu too i'm gonna start making me some vegan creme brulees because i am a creme brulee fiend and it is they are very expensive i think a couple months ago we probably spent like 25 dollars on creme brulee and cheesecake so we need to start making that stuff ourselves so anyway this is Shantae with brown sugar talk darlings you please read some books get you some weather you know get outside love yourself love yourself for sure and also right now what makes you feel good about you the gratitude of your life is so important to be deserved and desired and delectable in its midst. So please just love yourself. Love yourself and show it to the world. And if they have anybody, anything to say about it, fuck them. If they can love you like you love you, bitch, you don't need them at the fucking hall. Anyway, it's Shantae. Have a good day. Have a good, good day. A good, good day.